doing a 15 minute follow up session for a client. So if you're interested in watching that session, I'll put a link in the description. In that journey, we're actually exploring an activation of the inner master. It was pretty incredible. So I'm curious to see what we discover in this follow up session. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals and get started here. All right. I'm open to the most important message healing. Continue clearing of the heart space with maybe a message wisdom from Archangel Raziel on the power of love and applying it in our everyday lives. I freaking love Archangel Raziel. <laughs> I'm so glad you're requesting this. Okay, I'm just going to chill out here. I'm going to calm down and get tuned in. Most important message healing, clearing heart space, wisdom from Archangel Raziel, and the power of love. Okay, I'm ready for this. So I'm having to silence myself, literally silence my energy field, silence my mind, my emotions, become silent. So it's like the ultimate inner silence. When we access that ultimate inner silence, now we can finally hear from the highest dimensional realms where it's purely silent. <laughs> That's why silent moments and meditation is so powerful because it allows us to actually hear profound wisdom. And oftentimes the human doesn't actually hear it, but receives it and becomes aware of it over time. That's something Archangel Raziel is saying. So the power of love, there's something about the power of silence as well. There's a parallel between the two. And we're also talking about your heart. He's talking about the mind, silencing the mind, silencing the emotions. Can one silence the heart? I'm actually exploring silencing the heart. When I experience myself silencing my frequency it's interesting because i never thought of it this way but i can still experience it's like this infinite generating warmth and it just keeps generating this warmth and the more silent i become it's like the more i can become aware of that warmth so are the emotions coming from the body or are they coming from the soul? Or both? What's triggering the emotions? If we silence the emotions, if we silence the thoughts, there's something about silencing the human. And then when in that state of silence, you can become aware of this love, this warmth that's generating from your heart. And it's almost like accessing your soul. And when you access your soul, you're accessing source. You're accessing the most powerful energy. <laughs> you're accessing the beginning and the end, right? You're accessing something incredible. Why in the world wouldn't we take some time to become silent so we can hang out with the most incredible energy ever? <laughs> literally but we have to be silent in order to experience it we literally have to let go of human we have to let go of human it's interesting because there's so almost like the sound of a glitch between 
your human self and your inner master self. The translation, it's like the boundaries between. And how do you dissolve all boundaries? How does the human fully integrate with the master? It takes practice. So you start by learning how to silence the human. Spend time feeling the warmth from your heart. When you practice this every day, you'll start to be able to do it just everywhere you go, all the time. You will allow that warmth to just generate and radiate. You'll be tuned into that frequency. That's why it's so important that we take time to be silent. Because we are reconditioning ourselves to that frequency. As a human. So it's what sort of dissolves the boundaries. How many humans have access to silence? We all do, but what is our world? It's very noisy, right? That noise is creating... It's like f frequency waves that alter the conditioning to access our source energy, our truth. So that's why we have to just accept that's the world that we live in. But we have power and choice. We can choose to be silent, to disconnect from that energy anytime we want. It's a choice. It makes us stronger. It makes us, it's sort of like conditioning our human self with the, the inner master self. So the human self starts to adjust to the silence, starts to adjust to that frequency, starts to adjust to the warmth in the heart, and then it continues to allow that energy to flow even more abundantly than before. There's often a resistance when it's too noisy. And then the boundaries start to develop, which kind of starts to develop from early ages. So we're having to recondition ourselves to our truth. And he keeps showing me that the heart, it's almost like it gets overwhelmed by the noise. So it puts a little bit of a barrier or a buffer. It's like hearing noise that's too loud in your cell phone for instance and like oh crap my volume's too high I gotta turn it down so instantly you clench up and get really tense so the frequency waves can inspire your heart to do this to just have a buffer like a tension there but when you choose silence it relaxes the tension it relaxes the barrier this is the power of love now flowing through you generating and you're accessing it you're feeling it you're allowing it to grow without resistance We're going back to that glitch I was talking about between your inner master and your human self. I don't want to call it a glitch because this conversation that Archangel Raziel is having here with you, it's softening that, it's opening the awareness, it's, it's disappearing, okay? However, I still feel resistance. And... That's so natural because we aren't familiar with being our inner master in our everyday life. Is that the ego holding us back? Not being able to understand what it means to be that expression. 
not being able to comprehend it. So I'm focusing on your heart and that resistance. It's not necessarily bringing forward the ego, it's just a feeling. And so it's simply an idea that comes to me just to say that out loud and just see what happens next, okay? Because it really feels as though you are ready. It's like there's a bridge. So we have human bridge to inner master, inner master bridge to human. But we want to just remove the bridge and close the gap and then layer them together, like merge them together, the inner master and the human working as one, seamlessly as one. It's, it's, this is expressing itself as your goal in this life, to learn how to do this. Are you going to learn how to do it that fast? Or is it a process of discovering yourself and your inner master as one expression? And learning so many things along the way. That's the truth about time. That's the truth about discovery and transformation. And even when you are more your inner master than you've ever been before, you could still be more your inner master than you've ever been before. Right? So we're always going to be continually exploring and expanding and amplifying our awareness. But it feels like this is something that you are, I mean, this is like your life purpose. This is like a big one. And, and you feel really cool with it. Like, um, it's not mind blowing. It's like you kind of know this. You accept this. You're ready for this. You want this. And it's, and it's a reality for you. It's not a fantasy. It's a reality. What you want, though, is to work with this reality and help others with it. Actually help others with your truth. And by tapping into your truth, you're able to do that. But again, it's time is a part of the process. You know what just came to me, this wild idea that what if time is an element, you know, like water or fire or earth or spirit, right? But you never think of time as an element. <laughs> it is an element to your process. It's like an ingredient. It's really interesting. I'm still looking at this resistance, okay? So we could learn more about it. I'm just touching it with my hand. And I'm going to place this element of time into the resistance. I'm also, it, there is something about ego and I'm just sending really warm vibes up to ego and just reminding ego what a great job it's doing. Thanking ego for its purpose, its presence, its role in this process. And that it's safe. This process is safe. And I know that there's some fear and insecurity about the process because the inner master is inconceivable. So how is the ego supposed to make sure everything is in a safe survival state. That's ego's job, right? How's it going to do that if your inner master, that concept is inconceivable? So I'm sending vibes to ego to say, I understand. You don't have to understand it. Just work with things as they come along. You are wise, ego. You are clever. This is part of a divine process. And this process includes you. I still am working on relaxing the resistance in your heart. I'm still focusing on ego as well.
Ego is afraid because it's like death. It's like dying. So every time you become more your inner master, you have to die. As in your ego has to go through a death phase. And it just doesn't want to do that. <laughs> it wants to not die. <laughs> And the thing is, and I've experienced this so many times, the death phase of your ego is a really hard process. And it could be debilitating, dark night of the soul process, or it can just be a shock effect that lasts a month or lasts a week. But your ego is still there. <laughs> but it's more open-minded. You become more open-minded. You become more your true self. And ego just is a part of our dynamic, part of our biology. So the more that we choose to love and embrace our egos, support our egos through this ascension process, the more your ego will actually be there to help you too. Because it's all about love. So ego can be demon-like, but demons need love too. Not worship, but just support, right? Because that energy is fear. Fear needs support. Ego needs support. So I'm supporting your ego and I'm helping to just open your heart some more and activate more of your pathway. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's just simply cool. <laughs> You're so, so full of gratitude and I mean, there is some incredible things that you are going to discover in your life and just let the chips fall into place as they will, okay? <laughs> but I, I mean, it's like I get to look into your, your life and it just sort of, um, it's an experience of events and it's just like I get access to all these events that could be sp like spans of time all right and it's like wow I mean I hear your voice speaking and you're just mesmerizing and you're really expressing some profound ideas and you're transforming people and the way they're seeing things the way they're understanding themselves like you're making an impact big time but to become that you have to learn a great deal too right you have to discover your true power your true self um so it's a process but I mean it seems like a pretty, um, I mean, it seems like you do it. <laughs> like, I'm looking at a success here. Like, I see you doing it. So even the resistance that I'm clearing out, you're going to be taking over and continuing to work on that. And you're making, I mean, you're going to make incredible strides in your life. For sure. It's just so cool. <laughs> I'm just gently letting go of my hand from your heart and from your ego. And I'm just allowing you to feel your own presence. Allowing you to experience the inner silence. It's like an energy download, an activation, awareness that is activated and downloaded. I mean, that's literally what this is. Archangel Raziel is here. He's sort of he is like a really awesome guide for you. I mean, he's, he's standing by your side, but it feels like he is often standing by your side. <laughs> and I'm just continuing to return to myself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. What an awesome experience. Thank you very, very much. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day.